ICQB Foundation Level Question 15. It's important to ensure that the test design starts during the requirements definition. Which of the following test objectives supports this? A. Evaluating work products such as requirements, user stories, design and code. B. Triggering failures and finding defects. C. Providing information to stakeholders to allow them to make informed decisions. D. Finishing the project on time. Please press pause to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is A. Evaluating work products such as requirements, user stories, design and code. We will see the exact quotes for this in the section explanation a little later. Let's see why the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer B is wrong, because triggering failures and finding defects relates to test performing. It happens when the code has already written, not test design stage. Answer C is wrong, because Providing information to stakeholders to allow them to make informed decisions relates to the last period of test process, test completion stage. Then quality control engineers give an opinion on the project, for example, whether to release it or not. Answer D is wrong, because finishing the project on time doesn't relate to test objectives at all. Explanation Moreover, let's look at the section 1.1.1 test objectives in the ICQB syllabus, where we can see that the first point is evaluation work products such as requirements, user story, design and code. This is fully consistent with the correct answer A and relates to the test design starts during the requirement definition. Also we can see B and C answer here, but these two test objectives doesn't relate to the test design stage of STLC Software Testing Life Cycle. Please be highly careful and attentive with all definitions. Figure out them and you obviously pass the foundation level exam.